Good morning, happy Saturday. The solar panel saga continues. Um, so <laughs> we're going to take you back ooh, to the start of the week and just update you on what's happened in the week since my last video. Good morning, happy Monday. It's the start of a new week and we'll see what happens today uh, with regard to solar panels, air source heat pump, etc, etc. Um, so today, I believe somebody will be here to fit the fans in the kitchen and in the, the toilet next to the bedrooms. They're supposed to be turning up at about 11 o'clock this morning. Are they going to turn up? Are they not? Is someone else going to turn up that I don't know about? That's it. That's all that's planned for today is the fans getting fitted. I wonder if I'll hear back from the operations manager. Who knows? We shall see. Um, but of course, I will keep you updated. So we no longer have a gaping hole in the kitchen. We now have a nice fan fitted, all um, wired in. Seems to be working very well so far. Thank you very much. We've had the fan replaced in the bathroom which is good and we also have a fan in the little toilet um, so this is good news no longer any gaping holes well at least not the four inch diameter ones good so today wasn't a complete waste of time we now have the three fans fitted and the only holes we still have in our walls are the two uh, behind me up here go through because that's where the electric um, box is so there was two holes drilled through the wall behind me there out into the porch where the lads were fitting the electrical junction box for the solar panels so they're still open um, and we now only have um, a partial roof on the um, on the porch outside which has nothing to do with this by the way totally separate work going on um, but we're getting the porch rebuilt and um, the roof has been lifted slightly to make way for building under it basically. But yeah, the, you can feel it. I can feel it from here. Like the cold air coming through. It was cold last night. Uh, it's pretty cold tonight again. But you know what? It's better than having these four inch holes in the walls. At least they're not there anymore. So yeah, not a complete, um, not a complete waste of time today. We've got that done. But I have still not heard back from either company one or company two with a solution as to what we're going to do. Are we just calling it a day? Are we knocking the whole thing on the head? Or are we going to look for an alternative? Um, I've had quite a good response to my um, video that I just posted at the weekend there. And um, one of the comments said that basically um, it's a misunderstanding by some roofers and or uh, solar panel installers based on their experience, you know, the difference of, of um, concrete tiles and slate tiles. Uh, but regardless, we're, let's say we have provided an alternative, but we've not heard anything back yet. So we'll see what happens there. Good evening, happy Tuesday. I meant to do an update video earlier and completely forgot about it. So I literally just switched the light off, closed my eyes and thought, Got to do my update video so here's the update for tuesday um so obviously <laughs> richie took to social media over the weekend and gave company number one um a one-star review on trust pilot uh, he tried calling them yesterday but the person that he needed to speak to was not available so this morning i got a call from that person uh basically saying that she had had her booty whipped by, that sounded wrong, um, but basically she's had a telling off from her director who had discovered that there was a one star review left on Trustpilot over the weekend um, and she wanted to know why that was. So I explained the situation and um, was basically told that company number one actually didn't subcontract to company number two, um, but they acted as a referral service. So basically what she was telling us was that if we have any issues with any of the work that has or hasn't been completed up until this point that our 
um, our issue is with company number two. So anyway, she asked if my husband would be willing to um, remove the, the feedback on Trustpilot, to which I said, I have no idea, you'll have to speak to him. So I explained to her my frustrations as to what happened up until this point um, and just basically said that as it stood, we were currently in the dark. We had no idea what was going on. We didn't know um, if anybody was looking into the alternative solutions that we provided um, <clears throat> and that they were just really, really poor at communicating. And that was, you know, obviously causing some frustrations. So she said, leave it with me. I will go and speak to them um, and somebody will call you back. So uh, within a couple of hours anyway, I had a call from somebody from company number two, who is the company that's executing the works. Um, and they said, look, we've not forgotten about you. We're still working on this. We're, we're reviewing the information that you sent us with the alternative solution of ground mounting the solar panels, but it's not looking viable at the moment because it's a very expensive way of doing it. And also they normally, now this, and this is just what I've been told, they normally um, ground mount solar panels on flat ground because of the frames that they have to sit in. So he, he did basically say that this was probably not a viable solution. So I was like, okay. But, um, he said they would continue to review the information I'd sent them and if they were coming up with uh, uh, anything else, they would be back in touch. I said, OK, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then another person called me from company number two, probably about half an hour after this call and said, we've not forgotten about you. We're reviewing the information you sent. The ground mounted panels are probably not going to be viable. However, we've not forgotten about you. We do not want to let this go um, we don't want to get this far and then not continue with the work. So please rest assured we are looking for an alternative solution. OK, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, shortly after that, I had a request for them to send uh, a, a, a roof around. Um, would we be OK with them sending another roof around? to inspect the roof and give their opinion as to whether it would be acceptable to mount the solar panels on the roof. I said, yes, no problem at all. They asked if the scaffolding was still in place, to which I replied, it was when I left the house this morning. They went, that's good. The roofer can use the scaffolding to get up there and inspect the roof. OK. Um, I then got another message from another guy in company number two so it's the same two guys but i don't want to name them let's say i want to see how this all pans out first but um so then the other one contacted me and said we're going to send another roof around so okay yes it's fine like i told your colleagues so they don't speak to each other internally obviously but still you know it's good that they are now starting to communicate but i'm not confident and and I'm not saying they're lying to me, but there's always the possibility that they've got no intention of sending another roofer around. Um, but we'll see, we'll see anyway. So apparently there's a roofer coming um, one day this week to have a look and let us know what they think. Uh, meanwhile, about half past three this afternoon, maybe a little bit later actually, come to think of it, I had a message from my husband saying, scaffolding's gone then. Okay. So yeah, I got home and all the scaffolding has been removed while we were at work today, which I'm unhappy about because, again, as I previously mentioned, I'd spoken to company number two and told them that I didn't want anybody coming to the property while I wasn't here. Oh, look. So the first thing I did was I went outside and I inspected the flower beds and yeah, I've got damage. I've got damage to plants and... Some of you might not understand this and think it's just a plant. Some of you will be watching and going, oh my God, plants, I completely get where you're coming from because I too am psychotic about my plants. Um, specifically, there's two yuccas that have been damaged. One, I believe, beyond regrowth, but I'm not, I'm not going to dig it out or anything like that. I'll just see how it gets on. And another one's been snapped at the base. Um, 
like I say, to some people that might just be a plant, but to me that's that's years of growing that plant. And I literally just put it in the ground. I've been growing it in a pot for quite a while. Um, I love my yuccas. Again, if you know me, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been growing these yuccas for years and one of them I'd literally just planted up this autumn into the the flower bed because it was now big enough to basically to thrive in there and that's been snapped at the base so that's quite upsetting and of course there was the one that got damaged um when they put the boards down for the scaffolding but um there was also hibiscus damaged but I don't think that's um I don't think that's too bad I think the plant will be absolutely all right but yeah, I'm just upset because I love my plants. I love and respect my plants and I want other people to do the same. But I mean, it might have been just, you know, a little accident. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to sweat it, but obviously I'm upset by it. So anyway, we've got no scaffolding. So then I had to message both dudes back uh, to let them know and say, yeah, your roofer might need to bring some extra high ladders because the scaffolding's gone and they didn't know it was getting taken down so that's where we're at so <laughs> i kind of oh, one one part of me just wants a complete end to this just like okay that's it done let's just leave it there but the other part of me thinks i've been wanting solar panels for so long uh and i've, I've gotten so close to getting them done I can't just give up now, can I? But we shall see. And now we're back in the present day. It's still Saturday. So the latest update isn't sounding too bad. I'm feeling much more positive about things now. So we had a roofer out on Thursday and my husband was here so that he could speak to the guy and just find out what the score was with our tiles, our roof, etc, etc. So... Um, the, the roofer, who appeared to be very experienced, advised that the type of tiles that we have on our roof are very, very rare. I don't know why, but that's just what he said. Um, apparently, there's only two areas in the entire country that use these type of roof panels. Uh, tiles, sorry. I think I said panels earlier. I don't know. It's early yet. Um, anyway, so only two areas that use these roof tiles. That's Cumbria, which is here and um, down in Cornwall. Um, he also advised that the company that are doing the installation um, have actually fitted solar panels, installed solar panels onto a roof in Cumbria that has these specific type of tiles. And apparently this is where the whole fear thing stems from because they fitted these tiles, uh, the, the solar panels they have cracked a few tiles on this roof um, and they're very, very difficult to get a hold of because of that rare. So they weren't able to replace the tiles that were cracked with like for like. So one of the things that was discussed was if we were to crack some of your tiles in the process of the installation, would you be happy if we replaced them with similar tiles, but obviously not like for like? Um, but at least ones that are the same shape, the same size, and would still create, um, you know, would still create a watertight environment. And, and Richie said, of course, yeah, you know, it's, we're not really fussed about the aesthetics of the roof. We're more concerned with its state of being a roof. We need it to be a roof first and foremost. So as it turns out, um, this, the current state of our roof is actu actually pretty good. Um, and the roofer did confirm that actually it was good enough for us to have um, the solar panels installed. So he was reporting this back to the company and we're yet to hear anything from them, but we're not gonna chase. Um, like I said, this will happen or it won't. There's no point in getting upset about it anymore. Yeah, I was very upset in my last video, um, but like I say, when I took a step back and looked at it, in the grand scheme of things, is it something to get upset about? No, we'll just see how it goes. It was at the time, obviously, I was really, really disappointed and angry about, you know, just the miscommunication and I was very frustrated, but um, looking at the bigger picture, I'm okay. Hopefully we can still get them. We still want to get them, but 
as it stands. I'm not going to start crying over it again, that's for sure. Um, but I did just want to say thank you so much for um, people who just took the time out of their day to leave me a comment, to share some advice, to share experiences. I really, really appreciated that. It was so good to have um, a varying range of opinions, um, comments, experiences. And I just really appreciate it because it opened my eyes a little bit to, you know, the fact that some people do have problems with these type of installations, others don't. It was also nice to hear of other off-grid wannabes and what their setup looks like. And yes, that made me jealous, thank you very much. But it's all something for me to aspire towards. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much. We really did appreciate that. Um, so that's, that's literally going to be it for the solar panel saga <laughs> update. Um, and I'm just going to crack on with the rest of my weekend. And of course, going forward, I will keep you guys in the loop for what's going on and I will share the journey as it unfolds. But until the next video, thank you again and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.